end of the first round. Opokuwari School has nine points. Achimota School has 11 points. Presbyterian Boys Secondary School has 18 points. We have a long way to go, four more rounds. Round two. This round is the Pep Soden Speed Race. The Speed Race is sponsored by Pep Soden Toothpaste. Every smile matters. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with the questions at the same time. For an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, Okokuari School? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you ring an answer correctly and it's the first attempt at the question, three points. If it's the second attempt at the question, two points. And if it's a third attempt at the question, one point. But please be very careful because if you attempt to answer a question and you are unsuccessful, unsuccessful meaning you are unable to provide the correct answer, or you are unable to provide an answer within three seconds of ringing, you lose a precious point. In order to know that you have exceeded your three seconds, we have a bell as well. When you hear that, it means whatever it is that you are saying or have said or have been unable to say, that's your answer, and chances are you have already picked up the penalty point. All right? For questions which require calculations, you have up to 30 seconds to provide an answer. If there are no calculations, you have the usual 10 seconds to do so. Best wishes, everyone. First set of questions, 30 seconds each. First one. Since July 1st, 2017, the maximum level of sulfur allowed in petroleum products in Ghana is 50 milligram per liter, reduced all the way from 3,000 milligram per liter. Assuming that petroleum in an automotive vehicle contains 25 milligram per liter of sulfur, calculate the maximum mass of sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere from burning 15 liters of this product. Yes. It is Go ahead. 750 milligrams. Yes. Next one. When a matchstick is struck on a matchbox, potassium chlorate reacts with phosphorus P4 to produce tetraphosphorus decaoxide and potassium chloride. What mass of the phosphorus oxide is formed when one mole of potassium chlorate reacts? You may take atomic mass of phosphorus to be 31.0 gram per mole. Yes. Which of you? Um, okay. Stephen. The mass is equal to 7 points. Who rang next? Four. Yeah, go ahead. The mass is 85.2 grams. Did they make it? They didn't. You didn't make it in time. The bell has 
had gone. The right answer is 85.2 grams. Yes. Um, gentlemen, some friendly advice. Let me give you some friendly advice, gentlemen. This is the Pepsodent Speed Race. When you ring, that is not the time to be telling me we have uh, Madame. All those things are unnecessary. Straight to the point. When I hear my bell, I give you the deduction. All right, next one. The pH of a newly formulated water-soluble product of density 1.25 gram per centimeter cubed is 3.00. This product does not meet the specification of a minimum pH of 4.00. What is the minimum volume of deionized water needed to salvage 4.00 kilogram of the product to meet the required specification? Yes. Which of you, Selenam, go ahead. The volume is 3.00 by 10 to the power negative 2 meter cubed. That's incorrect. All right, the right answer is 28.8 decimeter cubed or 28,800 centimeter cubed. Next set, 30 seconds each. First one. Find the equation of the locus of the point P with coordinates x, y, if it moves in the xy plane such that it is equidistant from the point A with coordinates 0, 5 and the x axis. Okay, go ahead. Yes, Dante. x squared is equal to 10 y minus 25. You are right. Next one. Find the domain of the function f of x is equal to square root of the expression 18 minus 3x minus x squared. Yes. Go ahead, Dante. X is such that x is a member of all real numbers where x is greater than or equal to negative, negative three or x is less than or equal to did anyone else ring okay go ahead sell it now x is such that x is a member of the set of real numbers where negative six Less than or equal to x. Less than or equal to 3. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Find the least value and the greatest value of the trigonometric expression 50 over, and this is an expression with three terms, 8 multiplying cosine of x plus 6 multiplying sine of x plus 15. Yes, go ahead, uh, Damte. The Damte. Greatest, 
the greatest value is 2. And the least value is 10. 10. That's incorrect. Who rang next? Yes. Yes. The Go ahead, party. The greatest value is 10. And the least value is 2. Yes. That's the right order. Thirty seconds. A solid sphere of radius zero point two zero meter swings about a pivot on its surface. Find the distance between the pivot and the center of oscillation of the sphere. The right answer is 0 0.28 meter. Next one, 10 seconds. What is the origin of the iridescence of heated steel cooled in still air? Oh, contestants did not want this one. Does anybody know why? <laughs> okay, so if you heat steel, right? In steel and if you heat steel and you cool it in steel air, you will see some iridescence, nice colors on the surface. And the question is what causes that? Have you people seen that before? Yes, some people have seen it. Okay, so the phenomenon is called thin film interference. Thin film interference. And why? What that, why does that happen? Because you have a surface temperature distribution. The temperature is not the same everywhere. So you will have an oxide being formed on the surface, right? But the oxide will have varying thickness because of the difference in temperature. And this is what happens to cause the thin film interference, which makes the surface all shiny. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> OK, good. I hope you appreciate that. Do you appreciate it? Good. All right, next one, 10 seconds. When heated sodium vapor is placed in a magnetic field, the characteristic sodium yellow lines are split into multiple lines whose separation increases as magnetic field strength is increased. Name the phenomenon. Yes, Dante. Zeeman effect. You are right. Last set of questions, 10 seconds each. First one. Name the law that explains that each trophic level in a food chain. Yes. The 10% law. That's the ten, and it explains that. I continue. Transfers 10% of its energy to the level above it. The other 90% of their energy is lost as heat or used for growth and reproduction. Yes, it's the 10% rule, but you have 
to add is the 10 percent rule in food chain. 10 percent rule in food chain. next one I'm sure you heard me telling them to give the answers unambiguously all right next one what happens to ingested starchy food that enters the stomach but has not been fully digested by the salivary amylase Okay, so you know that there are different types of amylase, right? So when the salivary amylase has not finally done its work on the starchy food, when it enters the stomach, the pancreatic amylase will act on it. So the pancreatic amylase will continue the work. Is that all right? Good. Last one for the round. Please pay careful attention. Last one. Determine the order of genes along a chromosome based on the following recombination frequencies. AB, 8 map units. AC, 28 map units. AD, 25 map units. BC, 20 map units. And BD, 33 map units. Did they make it? No one made it. The right answer. The right answer is D A B C. And that brings us to the end of the speed race.